hey, middle-aged musician here. Uh, I'm, I've gone back and kind of redone. I had three missing episodes. I, you may or may not have noticed that episode 13, 14, and 16 never made it out past the cutting room floor. Um, most of you probably uh, aren't quite that tuned in. Um, I, I just went back and looked. It's like, I think I had some stuff that didn't get released. So anyway, uh, I've gone back uh, to redo these uh, kind of from bottom up. So the first one I'm going to do is a look at some Eastman guitars. So Eastman is this company out of China. They're interesting. There's Actually, they were the first, uh, and there have been others that followed suit, Altamira, some other ones, uh, that were companies that basically took the highest end of uh, luthery, of craftsmanship, uh, and you, you utilize the cheaper markets of China, I guess, to, to get that. Um, when you phrase it that way, it sounds not that nice, but... I don't, I, I think their artisans are paid well. I, I have heard good things about how they treat their artists, it's not like a sweatshop or something. Um, but it's just, it, it's not as expensive to make it as uh, somewhere else. And uh, the flip side of that, so there are two sides of this, right? So the first side is, okay, it, it costs me X amount of dollars to make it here, X amount of dollars to make it there, I'll go make it here where it's cheaper. Uh, which sounds like you're kind of shorthanding somebody else. But the other side of that is that uh, company owners, I'm you know, I'm not gonna say it's the fault of the, the, the craftsmen, artisans, whatever, but the company owners uh, aren't even interested in making it over here. So your ability to buy this sort of custom-made, well-made instrument, uh, unless you're gonna pay a giant premium, uh, you know, it, it is going to be a lot, uh, uh, a lot more limited. So you look at like buying a, a Gibson versus a Collings, right? In the U.S., uh, Collings are made in Texas. Uh, in the U.S., Artisans, um, it is a bigger company. So I don't even know what it's like to work there. Like you know, I, you might say it's like a sweatshop. I don't think that. I don't think it's a sweatshop, but, uh, but it. You know they're 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 just different, right? So um, Eastman, I first became aware of uh, in my long rambling introduction here, uh, when I was looking for an F style, F five lore style. Uh, kind of goes hand in hand, but yeah, F style. So the F whole. Um, Florentine with the F scroll mandolin. I wanted something like the Bill Monroe mandolin. I was, you know, cut right to the chase. Um, and you could spend a lot of money back then, like like Babe Dudenbussel was making mandolins, but they're like thirty to fifty thousand dollars. And if you wanted a real lore, they're like a half million dollars. Um, and I didn't need anything that fancy. I just wanted something that kind of got me there and. So you had these cheaper Pacific Rim stuff, and then you got in like Kentuckys and and that, and then there were uh, uh, Larvey, some other no Larvey, it was a company. There were some other companies there. Uh, Gibson bought one of them, you know, while I was looking at them. Weber, Weber, yes, Weber. Uh, they made great mandolins out of Montana, I think it was, and Gibson bought them. Uh, but it, it was getting harder and harder to find these these mandolins and you were going to spend multiple thousands of dollars and so at that time I could go buy a Eastman mandolin for a grand or two right um, for their top of the line like you could buy a 300 500 series cheaper but the 8 900 were the top series so I bought they had these 815 V's um, Varnish. Uh, they were basically a recreation, recreation, recreation of the 24, 25 uh, Lloyd Lore era. Lloyd Lore, Lloyd Lore ran Gibson's shop during that time period. And that's considered the holy grail of main lens because that's what Bill Monroe played. Um, not to say that they weren't great main lens, but that's how they got all this notoriety. 
Uh, and so, uh, you know, yeah, I got a, a decent deal on one. Uh, it was a factory second. Um, and that was the first time I'd really encountered Eastman, but I read about them and it's like, oh, they made band, they made violins, they you know, classically trained luthiers, they sent them over to Europe to learn the trade. Same thing Altamira, some of these other companies do. Um, so years later, uh, I bought a second Eastman mandolin. I had no qualms about buy, buying an Eastman mandolin. I bought an overhaul. I like it quite a lot. Uh, I bought an Eastman violin. like it quite a lot. Um, uh, the shop that my side job teaching music at, we've had some Eastmans come through there. The guitars have all been exceptional. There is a uh, Eastman Les Paul Jr. that was maybe the nicest junior I've played. Uh, definitely good stuff. So anyway, they've been coming up with their own designs. Uh, long, long time getting here. I, I know. Uh, I'll eventually, I'll eventually get to the point. Um, I'm, uh, you know, uh, I like to ramble. I like to talk, and I'm older, so you know that's how it goes. But, uh, so yeah, they, they, they've got these new guitar designs out there. And the, the thing that surprises me, uh, one of their new designs, they're made in California. So this isn't a U.S. company that's sending their manufacturing to China. This is a Chinese company that's sending their manufacturing to the United States. Interesting. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I, and part of that, I think they, well, clearly they're, they're picking California rather than Kalamazoo or something because they, they want that, that they're going after the Fender vibe. I mean, if you look at the guitars and some of the stuff that's going on there, you can see that, but they're also like using, you know, reclaimed Oregon lumber and all these other things. It's, it's, um, it's like a boutique American guitar company with all the trappings of like this boutique American company, but run it at China for like half or a third the cost of what you would spend. And I was saying these are cheap guitars. They're not cheap guitars. You're going to spend like three grand for one, but you're going to spend three grand for something you'd spend five or 10 grand for otherwise. So. I don't know. It's it's an interesting uh, little little avenue, and I, I know I've rambled a lot. I, I I try not to talk too much. Well, that's not true. I, I like talking, uh, but uh, hopefully hopefully you find something uh, entertaining in there. Uh, I'm not quite the Justin Wilson of guitar reviews. I wish it was. Um, granted, you couldn't understand half what the guy said, but uh, well, that might be true. So. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll, I've got some sl some slides, not slides, just some little screenshots that I've taken from from the site from the new California series of guitars, Eastman guitars. I'd check them out. It's just it's just it's like an interesting thing. I'm not saying you have to buy one. I I've been happy with all the ones I've bought. I I have no qualms about buying their gear. Um, you know, I made America stuff. I like to buy. I, I bought a lot of you know, small manufacturer, locally made American stuff. Um, it's pretty good quality though for the price. So, you know, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to knock that, you know, I'm not just cause it's Chinese. I doesn't mean I don't like it and you know, but, um, it, uh, it's worth, you know, checking this stuff out, looking at it. And, uh, I don't know if you, if you have the gumption, you know, drop a line and tell me what you think. Cause I don't know. It's just, this is weird. I was looking at it and it's like, oh, that's interesting. Like a Chinese company is launching an American made line, uh, of premier stuff. Um, I guess they like what we do here. I don't know. So anyway, uh, lots of rambling, uh, in incoherent older, older gentlemen here. Uh, at least I feel like that half the time. Uh, I don't know. I like I said I like to ramble. I don't write anything out. So this is just me, just like 
talking off the top of my head. So uh, anyway, have a good rest of your day, uh, and I uh, hope, hope you like uh, some of the, some of my thoughts. Uh, feel free to respond. Uh, I'll, I'll try and respond back in kind. So anyway, that's it. Thanks. Bye.